So we're out on the uh, third Civic here, starting on the repairs. Uh, first thing I'm going to address is the two little holes in the rockers. And I've just started uh, grinding here a little bit. And obviously that little hole that was the size of a quarter has obviously grown quite a bit. And uh, this metal is paper thin. So uh, I'm going to keep this extremely simple. I'm just basically going to cut a rectangle and I'm going to tack it on top of that or somewhere in that area. I'm going to do this here, grind it down. The plan is to put a little patch of metal in here, tacked in, a little bit of Bondo over and over top. I'm going to do this here. Uh, I don't have any blue paint, but I do have some primer. Uh, I do have some flat black, so maybe we can do something down here. So I do want to do this hole and then there's another one about midway. Uh, Let's see if I get anywhere with this. Uh, I've never welded onto a Civic. The metal is extremely thin. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different than my old project car over here, which is what I'm cutting my teeth on, sheet metal wise. Uh, let's see how this goes. Alright. Okay, so I've cut this uh, piece of sheet metal here. This is actually came from the floor pan. Uh, it's a piece of floor pan for the Mercury Comet. But it had nice curvature, so I thought that maybe I'd be able to use this piece like this. So I've got this cut like that. And the plan is to, I made a line on the inside to fold this lip over here. And then maybe, maybe do some pie cuts a little bit and try to fold this outer piece onto this little lip here. I mean, this lip is here, still there but it might give me something that I could weld to. So if I could do it this way, if I'm able to fold this in, then I could start forming the metal around the curvature and then just sort of cut it across here, to make it come up to my to my seam. So that's kind of my tentative plan for now. I'm gonna keep fiddling with this piece of metal. See if I can get this in here. See if I can get this hole filled. Of course the hole now that once you grind away the once you start grinding, then, uh, you know, the hole is right now probably five or six times bigger than what it started with, but so be it. Uh, I'm going to try to get this, uh, I'm going to try to get this patched. And the metal is very, oh my God. It's Honda Civic thin. All right. I'm going to carry on here. Okay. So here's my patch. The patch is in place. I've got one clamp holding it. I've got the car jack with a piece of wood and, uh, I'm going to try to tack it here. It's very thin right here. So I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, Bondo will have to cover this up, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like the car had been damaged before because there is filler here as well. So, uh, But this is all about being on the cheap. This is the $500 Civic. Uh, I'm going to try to buzz this in down here. Maybe back here underneath and I'll release this pressure and this should pop out. I should be able to get a few stitches here and if I can get this up here and get the back done. Uh, anyway, enough babbling. Let's break out the welder and see if I can get anything accomplished. Okay, a little while later, here's my patch panel. So just a crude patch. Uh, it makes the curvature. It makes contact all through here. It's uh, kind of flush up at the top, tucked in over here. Uh, this quarter already had, sorry, this rocker already had Bondo and filler. I can see a little crack there. There was Bondo up here. Anyway, there it is there. Welded all the way around, all the way back here. Uh, feels good. Uh, just need to uh, put a little bit of filler on there. Call that done. Okay, well, it's the next morning. Uh, my Bondo should be cured up. Uh, from the last video, you saw that I put uh, some metal patches in, and then I Bondoed over. So uh, I'm going to attempt to sand this down smooth. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to do another application. I probably will. Uh, I did buy some blue paint, and I bought some black rocker guard. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, so got all the filler sanded. Just took some 80 grit, sanded that right down. Then I came back with a, uh, a sanding block, a little bit smoother. Uh, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty good for what we're doing. Sanded in here a little bit. I do have some touch-up paint. 
and I have some black rocker guard. So not exactly sure how I'm going to do it. Am I going to rocker guard and blue paint? Or am I just going to touch up the blue paint and then put a black strip of rocker guard on the bottom? That's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, the rockers are not great. They've been repaired in the past, I can tell. I patched up the two holes, I pa plus I also did this here. So I just patched up what was identified uh, uh, during the vehicle inspection. So uh, now the problem is it's freezing cold. It's only uh, three degrees above freezing. So not ideal. I got no room in my garage because my Comet's in here. Uh, I'm just going to give her. This is the Turd Civic and we're only doing whatever we can to uh, get a road legal. So I think I'm going to break out the blue paint. Uh, like I said, it's not great. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give her and see how this goes. Okay, so we got the area primed. Came back with a little bit of glazing putty to go over the uh, imperfections. Uh, this whole car is an imperfection, but anyway, I'll uh, let this cure up. I'll come back, one more sand, and then we'll break out the rocker guard and paint. Alright, okay, so this is the final product for the Turd Civic. So, uh, the blue was not a very good match. What I was going to do, uh, it looked really good from the... I didn't go by paint coat or nothing, but it looked really close, what I thought was going to be close. I was going to rocker guard just the bottom and then go over with the blue, but uh, it's not good. I just got this little section done in the blue, and I got the bottom done in rocker guard. So, Anyway, the Turd Civic... The rockers are now, the holes have been welded, uh, mudded, painted, rocker guarded, that's that. So this is a pass for inspection. Am I going to put West Coast Customs out of business? Absolutely not. Uh, doing this on a budget, so this is a pass for the inspection. Still got to move on to the brakes, the e-brake cable polish up those headlights and uh, the muffler and we will be roadworthy all right more to, more to follow on this uh, on this beautiful specimen of a car all right